Hello, welcome back to Rick's Kids. Um, continuation of the four GT40 Mark II, UG Me uh, Kit in 124th scale. Um, bit of a boo boo on my part. Body work was looking quite nice. Nice Italian red going down on it. Pickles, I messed up the stripes and stuff across the uh, top of the body. Ended up pulling them off. Um, I thought I know. It worked for me before, but um, not this time. I thought I'd paint them on, make it uh, a little bit more cleaner. Yeah, didn't go down too well. And there you go. Got that lovely gloss finish on the body. Looking very shiny, and look at the state of the stripe. All that bleed, so that's quite a mess. Um, I really only have one more option with this. Yeah, even under here. Terrible. Um, this has got to be stripped back down to pair of plastic, and I need to start. And I have to start again. Disappointing, I know, but I can't rescue that. No way in the world I can rescue that, unfortunately. So I've learned a lesson on that one. Be very careful with the tape you're using. Um, like I said, it's worked fine for me before, but yeah, not this time. So it's going to be stripped back down. Um, but I'll show you what else I've got going on here so far. As far as the rest of the project is concerned, um, we are into the interior tub and the chassis so we have the seat belts installed in the seats with the photo etch that comes supplied in the kit uh, foot pedals are in start of the front suspension is in the um oh my god brain cell Radi <laughs> radiator or cooling system is in the front there um, that's all finished in the satin black and uh, it's a mixture of um, sparkling silver, I mean a sparkling silver which is the lacquer paint in the jar and silver leaf which is a spray can. Uh, both very very similar in colour. That's where we're at with the interior. Um, I do have the steering wheel all done. That needs to go obviously into the dashboard. Um, that's all entire black. Uh, what I also need to do on the dash itself is the decals um, they need to be put in in there and then that part's done um, I've got the glazing to put in here which when done sits in there we have the sides that need have to go in here which is part of the system involving the, the dash when it all goes in there so makes a tight little cockpit cockpit area I don't know if you can see that very well it looks very dark on my scene screen oh leave it Brush compressor. 
<clears throat> okay, so that's roughly where it's at at the moment. Um, so we've got stages. Well, I say stages. We are up to. Let's move that. We'll flick that across the room. But we're here. We've done one. We've got two in. Partially three. Started four. Um, and now I've got the front wheel sub assembly bits and pieces of five here happening and the front suspension springs and what have you there. Um, so parts one to six, parts one to three, virtually complete. Four, five and six will nearly be complete and um, all that will then leave is 7 and 9 which is the engine and 10 and 11 which is the main, the other bits of the body parts and uh, lenses etc lights so yeah that's where we're at um, I'll uh, be back with clean body shell or a newly painted body shell and uh, further build update See you in a bit okay so here we are we're back after the calamity of um trying to put a stripe down the middle because of ruining the decals um we're now the body back to almost to its now back where the glossy body should be. Um, not as pleased with this result as the first one, which I messed up unfortunately. But at least we're um, heading in the right direction again. Um, due to the mistake with the decals that I you know kind of destroyed because uh, I think getting placed in the right position um, this is going to have to be a road road version of of the kit so there won't be as many decals on there I'm unsure how the road version really looks but not to worry we will try and do it a little bit more justice so all I'm going to be putting on here will be the four decals that run along the front there um, left to do on this piece of bodywork we will be painting this black here black 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 and black just so you can see the uh, lights a bit more clearly in in the model um, there's not a lot else to put on the top end of this um, it will get rubbed down and then um, a clear coat of some sort to protect the decals etc and the paintwork on top of it. Um, we have started with the decals on the dash. Uh, they don't really go down very well. They're a little bit large for the area that it's supposed to go in um, so I'm not too pleased with those but then you're not really going to see them see them much anyway uh, I've still got a couple of decals to put on there okay the uh, steering's done um, I think I may have showed this already but the interior is virtually complete got the two parts on the side to put in with the dash and the steering and then we'll be working on the front suspension and steering because the wheels actually do turn and we just completed the front wheels um they are pinned so they so they rotate um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it like that I might take it apart and 
One thing I don't like is cars rolling away. So that's where we are with that. Um, the stage after that, so that will be basically this area down here. And, oh, crikey. And then fi uh, finishing off this part up here. And we are on to two more stage, get the uh, engine area, or the last, the almost non existent engine area dealt with, uh, exhausts, uh, the real wheels, bottom suspension. Now, I'm not 100%, I don't know if I'm going to put the Goodyear uh, decals on the tyres. I guess it probably looks good for a racing vehicle, but I'm assuming it wouldn't look that much good for a road vehicle. Fixing up the back end of the um, engine area. Not sure what that piece really represents. Um, looks like some sort of filter, tank filter or something. Then we get to put the glazing in and finish it up. So that's what I'm tasking to do. So I will get back to you when a little bit more of an update. And uh, see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so this is where we're at. Um, obviously, like I said before, I trashed the decals. Um, but I did manage to save the most, what I think is the most important decal. And you can see that. B4 decal on the side, really nice, goes down nice. Um, so, uh, painted up black in there, as shown, and in the front, in the grills and the bottom light clusters where they go. So, that's done. Um, next stage for this is it's um clear coat i know that looks glossy on the camera it is glossy that's just the paint on its own i mean i could leave it like that but um i think i need to give it a clear coat gloss clear coat even though it is pretty shiny um we're not far off now a uh, couple more bits to do. Let me just quickly show you where we're at. So we have wheels on. We got interior tub together. They do steer. Um, they're also turn. Um, but I think what I might do is actually wait. This we've got to get rid of the seam line on the middle of that back tire. We've got rid of the majority of it on the fronts. Uh, all the decals are in for what they were. They're pretty damn rubbish. And this is what I was say saying about the actual engine part. That is that is it. So you've got like the exhaust coming out, and you've got this transmission and the back end of the of the engine basically. Um, we've got this to go on here which I'm assuming is some sort of I'm really careful I don't break this come on might just rest on there there we go um, some sort of cooling system I would have thought or maybe it's the fuel cells I don't know and we got the exhaust to go in here and they need to be painted like a steel color, I suppose. That's it very well. Uh, a couple of other small bits of the bracing for th this area. A uh, choice of fuel cap from the front of the body. We've got this part to go in, which I really don't know what it is. That goes in that area there. There's another piece to go in there. And 
So that is sort of what needs to be done for the back end uh, for the car. And all that then leaves is all the glazing work for the rest of the vehicle. And pull off a few of these little bits of silver around for door handles and things. So that's it, that's where we're at. Oh yes. And we got to get the grill in the back of the car as well. And those two bits that hold the bonnet down. So we're very close. Um see you in the next segment. And hopefully it should be a completed model. See you in a bit. Hi guys. Not quite what you was expecting. Um there is no finished build as of yet. Once again the body is in for stripping when I applied the clear coat it ruined the paintwork. So that lovely nice shiny body that I've just shown you no longer exists. It's now a bit demoralizing but it's being cleaned off again so we're going to have a another go so that's third time third time lucky um I've, yeah i've lost all the decals so every single decal that i put on it so far all gone so it won't have any decals on it on the outside unfortunately which is a little bit more disappointing for me but basically the interior is complete it's just waiting for its outer shell um Okay, I'll be back again when I've got a, a body to show you. But well, obviously not my body, but a car body. So yeah, again, well, here we are, guys. Painted in a bit of a nightmare as far as that's concerned. Sorry about the uh, poor quality video. Um, for some reason the camera is not focusing at this distance. It's too much glare from the light overhead. If I turn any other lights on, it uh, goes too dark. Anyway, here she is in her paint. Bright Italian red. Looks a bit orange, but I think that's because that's what's in the paint. She's not 100% finished, but I am calling her done for this minute for this video. Um, as you can see, there are no decals on this car uh, due to my mistakes in the uh, painting that I was doing. I got the decals wrong on the first attempt on the front. Um, had to strip them back off, decided I was going to put a white stripe down across the top after the second initial paint job uh, and then ended up messing that up because there was too much bleed over it so that then destroyed the G the uh, four decals that I had on the side um, so now she's decal free at the moment uh, I aim to um, get decals for the car and make her the a bit more respectable for what she is. Now none of the issues have been with the kit at all. It's all been me with my with my paint. Um, the other issue in getting this together, um, you probably see from the windscreen, it's actually missing the rearview mirror. Um, but that's not an issue. The body is not glued the shell body is not glued to the shell the body is not glued to the chassis so there's no issue in taking it apart and putting the uh, rear view mirror in there uh, yep there she is she has 
Cold wheels. I know that's not really what shows on the box. Um, she should have like a steel wheel, I think it is, or a steel colour wheel. Uh, I like the gold as it is. She's finished off in Italian red, like I said. Um, she's got photo etch uh, on it. I don't know what you call those. They, they hold the uh, front front hood down. Um, on it straps. I don't know. I'm sure, you guys will correct me on that one. Um, the glazing now. There, there is little bits of issues in the kit. Not sold in mine. The plastic is very brittle. And you have to be careful on how you cut it out. Unfortunately, when we turn it back towards the front slightly, you may or may not see it. Um, let me get some sort of... shouldn't really use my knife, but point here. Just here. No, I don't think that you can't see. You can't really see it. But just there, there's a tiny little crack in the grazing. And the same on the other side where it's joined to the spread. Uh, that was unfortunate, but it happens. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with the result. She's not buffed up at all. The glossiness of the car is actually the paint. Um, I will uh, maybe try buffing her up a little bit more to make her a little bit more glossy, but I'm happy as she is. Uh, finally got this video to the end of the road, thankfully. And uh, I even like her in her present form. At some point I might show you again when I actually get the decals for her. And uh, thanks for watching anyway. So all I'm going to say is from here is thank you to my subscribers uh, for supporting me. Uh, thank you to any new subscribers that have come in recently. Uh, I do appreciate your sus I do appreciate the support. Uh, all I can say from here is happy modelling and look out for the next build. That uh, I'm not sure what it's going to be at this moment in time, um, but I hope it will be something that you'll enjoy. So this is my. GV124 GT40 Mark to 1966 Le Mans. Thank you and happy modelling.